Over the uh, Christmas break um, that we had, obviously relaxing, having a good time, family and all that sort of thing, as everybody did. So welcome to 2023. And I saw a post on LinkedIn and it made me smile a little bit, uh, or a lot actually. And it was about relationships. And this person, doesn't matter who they are, I put a post up saying, here's your checklist for having the perfect relationship the perfect marriage perfect long-term relationship and uh i thought well that, that should be interesting reading because lynn and i've been together 43 years 43 and a half now and um i thought we'll have a look at the checklist and see see how we're doing are we, you know are we complying with this checklist and uh, i showed it to lynn so what do you think to this how are we doing how do we score on this checklist and some of the things were sort of valid and they're sort of okay you know be nice to each other and you know, don't stab each other with forks and that sort of thing um but there's a whole list on there about sort of you know um space and, and and time and words to use words not to use and how to do this and how to do that and a whole like a whole working document of how to build this perfect relationship and i've never anybody else in here who's got in a relationship of some sort long term or short term but for me if you need a checklist to go through your relationship and you're working to a, a tick box list to make sure you're doing it you're probably not doing it right um, and something else happened as well that, that was all compounded the the, uh, the the conversation we had was we we're speaking to somebody uh, it doesn't matter who they are as well um, and they said about their relationship and they said oh you know they never have a crossword with each other they never fall out they never have a crossword their life their partnership their relationship is just totally serene and calm and everything's very very nice and relaxed it's like crikey that sounds pretty tedious to me now I'm not suggesting or saying that Lynn and I will fight like cat and dog but you do fall out with people when you have relationships it's called relationship for a reason because relationships go in cycles and up and down and sideways so of course you're going to fall out of course you're going to not like each other all the time it's how you make up and how you make the best of it and i think wrapping it all up really first of all you don't need a checklist really if you need a checklist it's not the right thing um are you going to fall out and sort of hate each other from time to time yeah, probably from time to time you are, but you know, that's okay as well. But really, how do you know a relationship's working? Well, there's only two things that Lynn and I uh, have realised for us anyway. One, we recognise that there's love in the relationship um, and that you know, you know that when that's happening. But also we recognise that we are better off with each other than we are without when we're, we're happier more successful more content more balanced we achieve more we do more we're better nicer people got a fabulous family we're better as a pair and there's value in that life value in that so it doesn't matter about the checklist every relationship's different every flavor and style of relationship i guarantee is totally different and that's okay providing there's love and you know when there is and when there's not then there's something wrong as well when there's love and you know it that's the first thing but also you're simply happier more content better off uh, achieving more whatever it is you know when it's really working and you have all the ups and downs and sideways that go with it but um, don't expect it to be um, serene in fact just real quick story uh, doing a, a, a quick uh, a presentation and a lady in the audience said to us, this is pre-COVID, said, no, you guys have been together forever. I've got a question for Lynn, if that's okay. So Lynn came onto the stage and this lady said, please, something going on in her mind. And she said, in the time you've been together, which was about 40 years back then, she said, have you ever considered, um, you know, divorce or separation or anything like that? Has that ever entered your relationship at all? And uh, I left it to Lynn. And Lynn said, no, no, divorce, no, separation, no. Murder, yes. <laughs> And that probably sort of sums it up a little bit, if you like. So build your relationship. Don't worry about it being serene all the time. That sounds pretty tedious. But you've got to have love and you've got to have support, happiness, and higher levels of, of achievement and success and progress as a pair. So there you go. That's my take on it. Have a great day. Uh, more videos to come. And I will see you tomorrow, if not before. Like, comment, and share, please. Register and subscribe if you'd like to. And I'll see you real soon. Bye for now.